pick up the phone. Let him get on the phone. Hello. Okay. I, there was, I, I needed one more call, Baron. And if you want to do it, we'd like for you to do it. But if you don't want to, I can get somebody else. Okay. We were just trying to figure out. He he's got to work Friday. And uh, but he could get off early. Who else is gonna be a Paul Bear? Well, uh, Sign Toby and uh, his had two boys, Dean, Bubba, and uh, TD. Thanks, friend TD. And we can get Alan. You know, Alan Arthur would be glad to. Uh, if Mark doesn't want to, or is you know a little uncertain about. What time is the? It's uh, eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. At Park West. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be glad to do it. We'll have to drive down Friday. Um, and we haven't decided yet where we're going to land. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. I know some travel aides were supposed to be doing this, and we'll have to find it. You know, we'll have to find out for sure you know, from somebody where we're supposed to go. But they said, uh, from the three number addresses they gave us, the other one was downtown and one was in Bossier, so we knew it had to be this other one. Mm. When I looked on the computer today, um, at, uh, Microtel was cheaper than Shoney. Okay, well this is uh, Holiday Inn Express. Yeah. They were about 70 a night. But, uh, you know, that big Holiday Inn that we all stayed at when Michael came. Yeah. They were both, this one's close to that. It would be in the vicinity the that we wanted. You know? Okay. I said, we can't, meeting with no job, I said, we may have to just slip in at midnight in one of their rooms <laughs> and take a blow-up mattress and sleep on the floor. <laughs> well, so, I know that Big Bubber has said that, uh, you know, that Toby has a nice house. Anybody was welcome. He offered his house to anybody that wanted I mean, he offered Toby's house. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'd be coming in at, late at night. Yeah. But we'd be there. Mark's going to try to get get off work about noon or 1. Well, I know it's hard. It's a new job and all. That's why it's, I didn't know if you, it would be okay with you to do so. Yeah. I had planned on driving down anyway. And be there, and y'all are leaving out tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to leave early. We're leaving at our flight leaves at 6 50, so we'll be leaving here, you know, real early. And if Mark leaves out from here, he's got to be at the airport about 10 o'clock Sunday morning. So we'll have to drive back Saturday. So, yeah. Yeah, well, it's just I got to go out. He's got to come back Sunday, but I'm on. I think I'm not going to try to stay until we get, you know, a stone vault and everything. Because it'd be too hard to have to go back down there and do all that while we're there. Yeah. We're gonna try yeah. to do it while we're there. Yeah. Well, then uh, we'll be there. We'll just have to figure out where we where we're going to when we get in late Friday night. Well, when y'all know where you're gonna be, let us know. Well, we're gonna. Uh, we all should be there around. If the flight's on schedule, we should be there around noon tomorrow. So I can call you and let you know okay. where we are. Well, and we'll let somebody know. We'll have to figure out between now and Friday. But um, uh, yeah, Tim called me about 8.30 our time, been 9.30 y'all's time. So I was asking, you know, he said you were talking to Tim when he went. I don't know. Was that? Yeah, he talked. Well, when he said... Uh, Roll me up. I don't know what time it was when he said, Roll me. He said, You can roll, get me up on my left side. He said, I feel awful. I can feel awful. And we had drank coffee at five and watched the weather and everything. And when I started giving him his medicine at six, he said, I, I don't want you to put anything in the tube. I'm so nauseated. So I said, Well, let me just give you your nausea pill. He said, No, I can't take anything. I'm really, really nauseated. So I said, Well, I have a suppository just to. 12 milligram vinegar, and he said, we'll do that, and so I did, and I kept, he kept sitting there, and I found out, I said, are you any better, and he said, no, it's, it's awful, so I went over there, and he was broke out in a sweat all over, and I started putting 
bag and then with a warm rag, and then he said, he said, get a dry rag. And so I got a dry rag and tried to dry him off. He would lower my head or raise my head and then uh, turn me up on my left side. So I did. I got him up on his left side and I had the oxygen on him. And, uh, right after that, he just sort of left me. I mean, he wasn't responsive. He, was, he lived for a little while after that. But, uh, Like somebody that had a stroke, it's not like he stroke, he didn't do that. But the nurse said with the nausea and everything, she suspected he had a major brain hemorrhage, one of those uh, not in a members in his brain. Well, how do stroke patients breathe? What well, do you think? Uh, you just have to experience it. You know, he was just mm -hmm. sort of like that. Yeah. And, uh, not like him at all, not like he had been breathing or anything. Yeah. Just different. Yeah. So it was it was bad. I mean, I had called Willis at, at five to seven and said he's had a turn for the worse. I need you. And he said, I'm on my way, but by the time he got out. You mean Tim or Willis? Willis. Oh. I couldn't get Tim to I just got his answer. I got his voicemail about five after seven, and I said, your daddy's taking a turn for the worse. Call me when you get this message. And so... You know, they were both on the, trying to get to me, but he was already gone. Yeah. So it was just really, really fast, and it was a real shock, because, I mean, we, you know, like I said, it's 5 o'clock, I, I was on the couch, and he said, can we calm me down? I said, yeah. <laughs> so I got up, figured out how to And uh, we had our devotions. I was reading our devotions. Mm. And he well, I'm so glad he got to come home for a while. And yeah, that was a blessing, and, mm -hmm. and, and he could come to the table and eat. We went outside and sat for a long time. I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, and he got everything he wanted to eat, so. Yeah, everything he asked for, we, we got it for him. I didn't even hold back nothing. Because of his diabetes, so I just let him get yeah. whatever he'd asked for. I got it for him. So. Yeah, so. He it, didn't suffer. Mm -mm. I mean, he didn't linger a long time. He still, at the very end, was saying he's going to bounce out of that bed. Mm. Do things. Yeah. So that was good that he never gave up. He wasn't depressed or gave, gave up hope. Yeah, so. Well, how is this? Well, um, I, Pat said she didn't know if that was going to tell her or not. She told mm. Roy, her husband, because she's not eating. And, uh, mm. and so she can't walk. They wanted to walk, and they think she can't walk because she is two weeks from not eating. And, and so he said he'd tell her doctor and see if that was going to tell her. Mm. But Tim called her last night in her hospital and talked to her a long time. Oh, good. So my advice to you is to get out of the hospital. He said, that's what I did, and I've done a lot better. <laughs> he said, they warned me to stay a few more days, and we said, no, we're not. We're going home, and we did. He said, no. <laughs> so he said, you can tell your doctor you are going home. <laughs> well, um, well, we'll be there. Um, we'll be there sometime late, well, Friday. Friday night. I'm looking to get out of here by 2 o'clock Friday afternoon. Okay. Hopefully. Um, and I'll, it'll be about midnight, I guess. So we'll just have to figure out where we're going to land and just go from there. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow and let you know where we are. Okay. And um, as far as Park West on the other side of St. Vincent from the main. I can't even remember. No, it's way over off of uh, Burke. It's over, over way on the west side of Shreveport Lane. Oh. I can't even remember how to get there off Pines Road or something. We'll have mm -hmm. to just, uh, you know, probably they would take, they would, um, we would, he's going to be at the Rosemead Southside Chapel by, by, um, 
south of the old South Park Mall, so probably we'd all meet there and follow the herd or something. Yeah. So it's just a graveside service, yeah, right? It's a graveside service, and then a baby called and said that the family's going to do something after the, after the services. They're going to get this meeting room at the Southside Church, and they're going to have a lunch, have dinner and food and everything for us there. Mm. So we can go back there and visit with the family, whatever. Yeah. Well. But we're not going to have any visit. Yeah. He didn't want it. He didn't want any kind of viewing or anything. Mm-hmm. So Frank was the one, you know, that got all the instructions. So. I found this thing they read at Mother's funeral. I found it today. The acceptance. You remember that? What was it? Oh, acceptance. Yeah. Um, I have got my leave. Bid me farewell, my brother. I bow to you all and take my departure. I give back the keys to my door. I give up all claims to my house. I only ask for last kind words from you. We were neighbors for long, but I received more than I could give. Now the day has dawned and the lamp that lit my dark corner is out. A summons has come. I'm ready for my journey. Brother Pew read that at Mother's funeral. Yeah, we'll bring it with you. Okay. And it some, I wrote something else under here. It says, whatever the final result may be, let the record show that I did my best. Bibby gave, because she had found it in Aunt Savannah's stuff. I, I have that something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't mother had that, I think. She didn't. Brother Pew read it, and I asked him for a copy. So, anyway, so how are you doing? Well, I'm doing okay. It's just been a, like I told uh, Willis, I think I'm just in shock because mm. it, it was all so bad. And he was you know, gone, and even the hospice nurse, she said, I know that, you know, we knew his diagnosis, and this is hospice, but she said, it is a real shock to all of us that it's that bad. Especially yeah. because he was so stable, blood pressure. And he was mm-hmm. stable, he wasn't having any pain, he could eat, he could do a lot more than anybody thought he ever could. And well, that was a blessing. It was just a miracle of God. Mm-hmm. God was ready for him. I mean, it's hard, you know, it's just really, really hard. And I'm trying to get this house back like it was. I had, a, I told them I had to come get equipment today because I don't want to come back. Yeah. And then have it there. And I asked Willis if we could just move all the furniture back like it was. Yeah to get rid of his much. You know, mm-hmm. Remind me of that. Really, but you'll have to go through all these things. Yeah. Well, is one of the boys going to stay with you? Or? Well, they're both going to spend the night here tonight. They've just gone off to get their clothes packed. And, and um, <coughs> Jim went to get and find me a dress to wear. And him and their fans were both got so bad with me to get in my clothes. So he said he could find me something. Well, I'm going to have to wear a pantsuit, so. Well, I could have worn just that green pantsuit, but you don't need to have a black dress. I don't even know what size I went and cut so fast. Anyway. If we could just make it through this. Yeah. I think when I come back, he, Hank, uh, Tim was in, I should go back and lose this for a while, but I need to just go back to work. Go back and work full time. Like that. Yeah, you're the only one that knows what will help you yeah. get through. But I tell you, you took excellent care of him. Well, that's what the nurse, uh-huh. yeah, But he would always say that to me about it. All of us have made his life, that made his life so good. Considering the circumstances, he said, my life has been about as good as you can have it because of everybody doing so much. Until the day you tried to make him get up and go to the table. He said when he didn't feel like going to the table that day, and you said, no, you have to get up, go. And he said, <laughs> and you said, well, I'm your nurse. And he said, well, you don't have to be so mean. But that old Al Pazani, whatever his name was, that was trying to help me get him in the van. 
husband, and he said, when we was in the van together, I asked him if he knew Jesus, and he said, yes, he did. So I said a prayer with him. Well, Tang told me the story. Did I tell you that the man kept beating, beating him on the back? Beating him on the back. He said, he was just pleased with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, now, so but... I asked him, he said, is there anything we can do? And I said, well, could you please just, um... I said, I don't have time to contact my paper board and stop my papers. Could you just throw them over there behind the garbage can or something so they won't pile up on the front stoop? And he said, um, oh, well, you have time to stop them. You can get somebody to stop them. You can go ahead and call them. Who's, who, which neighbor? The Panzani guy. Oh. was here asking if there's anything he could do. And yeah. I asked him to just get my papers and throw them over behind the garbage can so nobody would see that they was piling up on the front porch. Yeah, you could go. Well, he asked for something to do and he oh, gave yeah, it to him and then he said, said, yeah, I just <laughs> keep my papers off the porch. Oh, well, you can still call. Well, I don't know who my paper boy is. Well, you just call the, the paper. No, let them sit Customer there. service. Oh, hell yeah, talk to somebody else. You just call the circulation department of your newspaper. Cyril will come to Has Monday. Cyril showed up? I did, of course, everybody, the white truck came, and then Shannon's car came, and then Tim's car came, and so, of course, that was too much for Cyril. He had to find out, so he comes over, and he said, um, the lights are on on the truck. <coughs> and then when he saw Tim all crying, he said, is everything okay? Well, he just looked like he's flat. Uh, so, uh, well, I'm surprised he didn't. So he had already told, I guess he went and ran to everybody's house and told all the names. He had already come over and asked him for his riding lawnmower. <gasps> After we left? Sunday, they all, he and Jackie and the little Jessica came over and he sat on Ting's bed. I don't think Ting really understood him when he, what he was saying. He said, would you put me in your will? I would have. Riding lawnmower, I think it's really bad. He's my yard in six years. Hey. And, so anyway, uh, Bubba told Tim, he said, yank that, yank that, um, ramp up and go over there and knock him over the head with it. But I hadn't told Bubba about the riding lawnmower. I didn't tell him. Somebody needs to just tell him. I said, well, Cyril's going to be over here asking for everything. And Willis said, well, you just tell him that he's already been taken by his children. And whatever he comes and shows up, just say everything's been taken by his children. That's right. He, and you didn't hear him, but because after he left, he said, that's not a bit jiggle my bed until I thought I was going to have to slap him off. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe him. Too well, somebody needs to give him a, a phone call to stay away. Well, he won't be back. Yeah, he will. He's going to be hounding you for stuff. I don't think he's Oh, but yes, he will. <laughs> when you'll find it, you'll finally get tired of it and fly into an evil rage. Give him a cousin. Well, that man is still parked out of the house. I wonder if he's standing at the front door and looking on the door and all that time. And he picked up the medical equipment. That was 30 minutes. He may be writing up. Well, they could be. Or his pillow, his No, he's sitting in the driver's seat. He's probably filling up papers. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can use it then. Up to watch TV. Yeah. So, and we got some nice pictures. If Mark hadn't finished with them yet, we could probably take them down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Bubba wanted to picture the staff on that ramp. I mean, he wanted to picture the ramp. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got them. Well, I guess 
I better go. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Bye. Bye.